So this is gonna be just a quick update. The plan is empty this garage out, park the car over there, pull the body off the car, put it here. Start the four link, the C notch, tower notch, whatever you wanna call it, airbags, onboard air to power the tank, chop the body, channel the body, you know what I mean, all that. Because the only thing stopping me from putting the Jeep on the road technically was nothing, but I wanted to put this hood on there, so I got a hood, and now that I have a hood, I can put an air filter on it. So now with the hood attached, I can cut the corners off, latch it down, work, work, work. Now with the hood technically mounted up, I can move to probably box this in, make a holder for this guy, make a latch to hold it down or maybe some tabs with some hood pins. That'll probably be what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that up. Matter of fact, and then that'll hold that in place. That's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna weld those up now then. Now I've added these little tabs on either side. Hood pins, and that'll be done. I finally got around to messing with HP tuners. Dick with the lope a little bit on the idle. Once it warms up, you can hear it a little better. Even though I messed with the idle, it still doesn't hesitate to come right out of it. So, message me in the comments below. If you want to know tips on HP tuners for your LS1 to get a little bit of lope, but without having to buy a cam, which is kind of stupid because I guess HP tuners is more expensive than a cam. But once you get a cam, there's a whole bunch of other shit you have to do too with HP tuners and tuning. So it kind of goes hand in hand. But if you have any questions, comment below about the HP tuners on an LS1, how to get lope how to turn on power enrichment, how to get more bang out of the automatic transmission, which I have. Um, but most importantly, because I intend to park the car, now that I have the Jeep hooded and operational, I would like to get the, um, I would like to park this in the back garage and then, uh, and then do the airbags. So I'll have the Jeep as a daily. I work it. I'm always at home, so I don't really need a daily, but if I need to take the dogs to the vet or go buy some ice cream or whatever, I will have the Jeep. So the plan is to pull the pull this back into the back garage as far left as I can pull the front clip off and then pull the body off and set it to the right of it. That'll give me room to do the C-notch and the four link and the airbags on the frame and room to do the chop and channel on the body. Then I can put it all back together and do onboard air to power the tank in the trunk. That's obviously gonna take about a month and a lot of video and a lot of time and effort and money. So, I'm gonna have a giveaway. Please go to the store link in the video description below and click the Wayne's Work Vlog Blog Spot Store link. It'll take you to my t-shirts. 
buy a t-shirt, you'll be entered in to a giveaway. I have not yet decided what the giveaway is gonna be, but it's gonna be worth at least $100, maximum $500. It will be at least worth $100 though, because the shirts are 25 shipped, I think. So, as long as you buy a shirt, any shirt, I'll be adding a few more within the next couple of days to give you a little more variety. If there's any ideas you guys want to see on a shirt, post it in the comments below. I can have them made for you. The whole point of the story is help me help this channel grow. And by doing airbags on Lucille, we're going to be able to grow the channel. I really think that's going to bring a lot of people to the channel. So help the channel grow. Buy a t-shirt. You'll be entered in from this moment forward. Anybody who buys a shirt within the next however many days or months until we do the, the drawing and I will be giving away something, 100 to $500. So share this with your friends. The more people that buy a shirt, obviously the better the prize is gonna be. And then once I know what the prize is, I'll announce it on the channel. Now we can go get some hood pins for this Jeep and get the hood on. So these are the hood pins I prefer. They give you the ability to not lose your pins by default. The other kits, you can obviously safety wire the pins to the to the thing, but if those break or rust or whatever, then you lose your pin and your hood could blow up on the freeway. So these are also the most expensive. It's like $11.99, $14.99, or $16.99 for these. I prefer these. So I'm gonna get these installed. All right, with that all finished, I can now open and close the hood as needed and I won't lose the pin. Pretty easy. I'll clean all that up later. For now though, it's road legal so I can put the Bel Air in the back garage and start chopping it up. So like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more and as always guys, keep on modding.